proportionality theorem. And what the triangle proportionality theorem stated was that if you have a triangle and you had a set of parallel lines, all right? This is what we went over last class period to prepare for this homework. And we said this was A, B, C, and that was D, E. Okay? The, proportion, the triangle proportionality theorem stated that the ratio of AB to BC was equal to the ratio of AD over DE. All right? When you had that parallel lines of a triangle, that was your theorem. And that was written down in your notes last class period. So you shouldn't have to be writing that down right now. You should have that written down, right, in your notes last class period. So now what they're asking is, can you prove to me that these two lines are equal? Well, we can prove they're equal if these proportion is true, right? So to do that, I need to set up a proportion. Well, first of all, I need to figure out what AD is. And in this case, AD, we don't know. We know this is 9, and we know the whole length is 27. So if I take 27 to minus 9, that's going to give me 18, right? So by now applying this theorem over here, I can say that 18 is to 9 as x is to 1 third. Because if I can prove that it is equal, right? If I can prove that this is equal, um, then what? Yeah. If I can prove that it's equal, then I can show that these are parallel lines. Or if I can prove for what value it's going to be equal to. So then, ladies and gentlemen, you can just apply your cross multiplication. Da -da, da -da. So I have 18 times 1 third is just going to be 18 over 3. And 18, divide, 18 times 1 third, how many times is 3 going to 18? <coughs> Six times. So I'll just write it out, though. 18 times 1 third equals 9 times x. 18 times 1 third, 3 divides 18 6 times, times 9x. Divide by 9, divide by 9, bless you. And that becomes 2 thirds equals x. So therefore, for the values of 2 thirds, these two lines are parallel. OK? So um, you guys, it, it's almost going to be impossible.